large fries, 20 piece chicken McNugget share box, and a nice pair of buns. All that food and you decide to eat your task. I just made some synonym rolls. <laughs> I genuinely cannot criticize this because the fact they have achieved icing is far more of a successful cook than I could ever hope to be. Thankfully, we got someone else to criticize them for me. Mmm, synonym rolls. Just like grandma used to make. I like this because it's not making fun of the food's terrible aesthetics. Because it's, uh, let's be honest, it's going to taste great. The worse it looks, the more you can believe it's going to be like, mmm, passion. Today I learned in 2002, a researcher found that the average eight-year-old British child could identify 80% of Pokemon, but only 50% of common wildlife species. What is happening to our youth? Well, common wildlife species don't normally yell their names at you. Can we just take a moment to conceptualize the terrifying reality that would be? Imagine wandering through the bushland of Australia, a humid, tropical environment, and you hear a subtle buzzing noise off in the distance coming closer. Only, it's not just a buzzing, it's something else. Some other phrase accompanying it. The hell's making those noise? God. What is it? Jesus Christ, run! Get away! Run! This is the Ahaha Wasp! Get out of here! Yes, that's right, the Ahaha Wasp. The Ahaha wasp is named purely because when some scientist and entomologist discovered a new genus, Arnold Menk explained aha, to which his colleague doubtfully replied ha. That's humans! It's our own fault we have these names. Could you imagine being a genuine beast, though, that humans come across? And they decide to name you Sarcastic Fringehead. That's it. That's your destiny now. You cannot do anything more than say Sarcastic Fringehead. That truly is humans' terrifying powers in the Pokemon universe. Like, what they say is done. It is law. There's a reason Arceus hasn't smite the entire human race, because it can't. All it can do is make a pixelated elephant noise. <laughs> <laughs> That's a funny meme. Hey, I'm John MK. The new clothes and hoodies. They've got shirts and hoodies at the merch store. Because the designs are great. This 100% cotton and terry cloth lining. That's pretty cool. And if you use the code SNACK at this checkout, you get free shipping. Buy them now. Jeff Bezos pledges to donate a majority of his $124 billion fortune to fight climate change and unify humanity. Yay! Mmm, someone got visited by three ghosts last night. I will do whatever it takes to unify humanity. Except the ones that work for me, of course. <laughs> what am I gonna do, give them a pay raise? Oh, don't be silly! This man in the gym just proposed, and she said no! Well, that didn't. Dun, 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 dun. Work out. Dun, 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 dun. The adult versions of the ice cream truck, Amazon Prime, FedEx, your mom's secret boyfriend, and the other one. Eh, uh, not that last one. That mother flipper dropping off some bills. Tokyo Restaurant only employs waiters with dementia, making orders unpredictable. For those with severe allergies, it's a little game of Russian roulette. There's one of these in America. We call it Congress. Vin Diesel spotted shirtless on a yacht in Italy. Ugh, look at him! Having an aged human body like he's over the age of 20 or something. What a loser! It's official. This person is a failure because their body isn't something I'm attracted to. And you are yachtless in a shirt. Don't act like he's the loser. No, please, my confidence, it's low as it is! Raise the voting age to 21. Generation Z is not mature enough at age 18. I'm a mom, so I know about this, and this is not at all an ironic reflection of my inability to mature my own children. This just in. Republicans think a 10-year-old girl is old enough to be a mother, but don't think 18-year-olds are old enough to vote. We'll have more on this story every time they tweet. Someone's mom is totally using you as a bad example for her kids. My own mom uses me as a bad example for others' kids. Ah, your mom's trying a reverse tactic of raising children. By purposely raising you as terrible as possible, there's just low expectations of whatever you achieve, so she's always going to be happy about you no matter what. It's not child abuse, it's just... It's, it's, it's just playing... You know, it's just... I'm so nervous. <laughs> I'm sorry to fail in that justification. Let's move on. I took these with my iPhone X. K 
camera quality so surreal it's like Leonardo DiCaprio painted them. Not to be confused with award-winning actor Leonardo da Vinci. This is exactly why I have no fear about AI art taking over art in general and just ruining it as a, an industry, because people were arguing the same when phones began to have nice quality cameras. Like, n no, end of the day, people are still going to want that skill and technique that is the big bulky cameras we have today. I mean, sure, AI is going to improve, but by the time it has improved to a decent quality, you would have had plenty of time to learn how to utilize it anyway. It's like computers and technology in the workplace. Any 40 or 50 year old still coming to their 20 year old employees and being like, how do I send an email? Ma Sir, madam, it's been like 40 years since computers came into the workplace. You've had plenty of time to learn. If you can't afford flying first class with a girl, then don't go on holiday with her. Oh, okay. Like you want to give your woman the best. You want to make sure she's getting the best she deserves, right? No, flying economy with your girl is gay. We both know once she passes next to the first class aisle, she's going to be eyeballing any male she finds there wishing she was with him. Get back to work. Hey, Instagram model I hired, can you just like, uh, I'm just gonna take a photo of us taking out glasses. Can you just like show a bit of boob? Thank you. Whoa, wait, so you're saying you gotta pay way more money than I do to keep a woman interested in you. I mean, if anything, Dr. Hattie here is just exposed to all of us, his lack of self-respect. Let's translate that middle paragraph. <clears throat> I have such zero self-respect, I will tolerate blatant narcissism than to ever be alone. Yeah, you're not doing this to me. X, Twitter shortcut, just rename it to Twitter, and boop, oh, look at that. Uh -huh. I can't imagine being this attached to an internet app. Hmm? You're the one paying for it. You can't prove that. I kind of can. Tell me something I don't know. In relation to what? <laughs> it's just this photo of you sitting in a couch pretending not to notice you're being photographed. Don't worry, Duakar is here to help you. You need to buy a three pin plug. Ah, it's fine. So what if the cable looks like it's peeling itself away like some sort of dying root? It's okay, it's fine. How do you tell the difference between a chemist and a plumber? Ask them to pronounce unionized. Um, hint, hint, hint. Uh, a chemist would say unionized. Do, do you get it? This is, this is the part where you're laughing at. You, you gotta make laughs for me. Laugh. Laugh. Holy frick, that's clever. It took me five minutes to get this. Mmm, extremely clever. This joke annoys me because there's no way to tell it verbally. Hi, th this is just a joke. There's no clever comeback here. Why is this in the subreddit? Shut your farm, it's coming. Most chemists would say unionized because there's no such word as unionized outside of this joke. The term is non-ionized, silly people. Meanwhile, actual chemists still say unionized because they're chemists, not English teachers. I graduated from college eight years ago today. I was 28. I refused to go into debt for college, so I joined the military. I kept my grades up, and they took care of me. Hashtag cancel student debt is a slap in the face to many like me. Oh, Kristen, you think, you think that was like a great gift to do what you had to do to survive? Imagine thinking, I had to enter into a situation where I potentially would have died or maybe would have had to kill others so that I wouldn't go into crippling debt just for an education. Is a good argument to maintain that system. During my interview today, I poured some water into a cup and it overflowed a little bit. Nervous? Asked the interviewer. I simply replied, No, I just always give 110%. He was so impressed, he asked to shake my hand. Big mistake. I crushed his wrist. Student loan forgiveness undermines one of our military's greatest recruitment tools at a time of dangerously low enlistments. Hey, I appreciate your naked honesty about the predatory recruiting tactics the military uses and how they are undermined by investment in our people. Seriously, do these people, like, know what they're saying when they say these things? Men, which life would you prefer? A or B? Well, obviously A, so I can multiply B by 8. Checkmate. Mate, to be fair, all those people in A are only there because he paid them to be there. And if it's costing you just to get them to do a photo with you with their legs doing the stupid butt thing, I guarantee you're not going to get any chance to do B. Higher up at Microsoft throws shade at Velveeta. Gets ratioed. American cheese, cheese whiz, and Velveeta's eat liquid gold are the worst 
cheese products. Hey, not cool, Chris. We didn't say anything when Vista came out. Uh, Vista was the Velveeta of Windows releases? <laughs> okay, it's not that bad. Sorry, can't hear you. The Zoom is too loud. No English word has double ooh except good. Prove me wrong. Book. Try reading one. Here you go. I found this one in a nook. Hello, my name is Catherine. I'd like to adopt a purebred cat from your shelter. Preferably British short hair. I don't like mixed breeds for aesthetic reasons. Do you have one? Yes, we have one British short hair. But he wants to live with only British people. He doesn't like mixed breeds for aesthetic reasons. Uh, what? Provide us with your ancestry documents to proceed with the adoption. Robert F. Kennedy Jr. Jr. and Robert De Niro offer $100,000 to anyone who can prove vaccines are safe. You know, it's actually not that much money when you split it between 7 billion people who don't have polio. Oh boy, I can't wait to spend my 0.001 of a cent. All animals want to live. Here. Uh, where do you draw- Here. Where do you- Here. Where do you here. draw the line? I draw it here. Yeah, come on, guys. Uh, where do you draw the line? Okay, too many people are saying they would eat horse. Well, there are kids out there who do enjoy eating glue, so- You're such a loser. If there was a contest for losers, you would be second. Uh, why I'm not first? Because you a loser! I need your help, guys. I tried to make a wig, but the glue seeped through the hair cap. And now the wig is stuck to my head. Please help. What should I do? Oh, no. It's like you shaved your f entire top of your head, but also beforehand tattooed your entire head black. <laughs> hey, you know, you're allowed to express yourself creatively how however you want to. It's, it's your body, your choice. Finish the wig because that's your hair now. Your girl shaves her face regularly? Well, I would have thought you'd be more familiar with your mom's hygiene routine, seeing how long you've been living with her now. Campbell's, your new commercial with the two dads makes me sick! Customer service here. Hi, Kim. If you're feeling sick, we suggest enjoying a delicious can of Campbell's chicken noodle soup. Mm. Make sure to enjoy it hot so it can help warm up your cold, dead heart. Knowing that someone went out of their way to make a fake customer service page just to just troll these kind of people is a beautiful blessing and an example as to why there are good people in this world. I am a computer engineer and I affirm that the Earth is flat. I am a geologist and I say that computers work because there are very small people inside doing all the work. Day six. Uh, what? <laughs> I'm sorry. I thought this was a vending machine. I was looking for a snack. And look, I found one. <laughs> oh, ho, ho, card declined. What do you mean? Do you like fan fiction? I'm pretty against it. I think it's an insult to the author. Like, hey, so I took what you wrote and, well, I made it all about me and what I want. It's not how stories get told. I won the Hugo Award for a piece of Sherlock Holmes slash H.P. Lovecraft fanfiction, so I'm in favor. Greg, that is how the Bible got told. Dear atheists, how is it that cavemen survived the asteroid, but the dinosaurs didn't? It's a thing most of you are scared of. Social distancing. They stayed 65 million years apart. Hey, I remember reading this little true unpopular opinion on the subreddit. Sleeping with strangers is one of the sleaziest, grossest things anyone can do. From what I remember reading, they were just someone who's clearly in the closet about being asexual. Like, yeah, it's cool if it's not for you, but you know, don't judge and shame other people for just having that part of their lifestyle. Like their opinion was basically, I think if you drink alcohol, you're an alcoholic. You have all the problems. You're a bad person. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Smex with someone I barely know. Hell, I've slept with someone I don't even like. Hey, now tickling your own pickle doesn't count. Believing in the Bible makes you a Christian, but reading and understanding the Bible from first to the last page makes you an atheist. Strongly disagree. Hey, Sophia, uh, something from your own Bible here. I do not permit a woman to teach or to have authority over a man. She must be silent. 1 Timothy 2.12 Please be silent, Sophia. R slash confessions. My mom hooks up with my friends. Aww. Hey, man, I'm sorry to hear. If you need a friend to talk to, I, I, I got you. Was bored and engaged spammer. 
Anna, what have you been up to lately? I'm Kelly. I changed my number. How are you? Kelly, I killed my abusive husband and now I'm on the run. Thank you for helping me with the details on how to dispose of the body. Please delete my number and don't try to contact me again. I will find you in a few months and split the insurance money. Anna. There's no reason for anyone over the age of 21 to be having a conversation with anyone under the age of 18. I feel like there was some context behind this belief, but it's lost to me, so I'm going to enjoy the rest of this. For the last time, son, I won't talk to you. I'm sorry, students, but this is the last time I'm going to see this. Stop trying to talk to me. I'm afraid I can't hire you. I cannot speak to you. I would tell that kid to get off my lawn. But society isn't ready yet. My newborn baby just said its first word. But I'm not trying to hear that. Hello? 911? Help! My parents are in a burning oh, building! I don't know, kid. Ugh, you sound just a little young and... I don't know. I'm not really feeling too comfortable with this. Hello? Hello? Why do men stay in the car for minutes after arriving home to prepare for this dress? It really hurts me that I relate to this when I used to always have to drive to and from work. Now see, but the problem with me is that I didn't have a girlfriend at the time. I, <laughs> I just I just stressed myself out at my own home as a single person. What would you do if someone left you $8.7 million? Pay off my student loans and use the remaining $10 to go to the movies. Luke Evan is gay? But he played straight man in many movies. Yeah, and Sir Ian McKellen plays a guy who can move metal with his mind. Doesn't mean he secretly has superpowers. <laughs> he doesn't. What is the best loophole that you've ever found? My brother once yelled, Last one to jump in the pool is gay. And then jumped into the pool. However, I figured out that if I did not jump in, then technically he would be the last one in the pool. And he is still gay to this day. The system wasn't designed for neurons this dense. <laughs> I'm Donald Trump Jr. They violated my father's due process rights, tainted the grand jury, and then lied through their teeth about Shut it. Shut up and go mow your mom. Oh, that's... Oh, man, that's... That's a pretty dark one, I gotta say. Some guy in my lecture just offered me his jacket because I was shivering. I would have taken the jacket if he was cute. <clears throat> well, hey, maybe the cute ones would have offered if they thought you were also cute. Uh-oh, the toxic person has just got a taste of their own medicine. Let's see how this plays out. And, yep, that's, there it is. They've labeled themselves the victim here. Taylor, 23, plus size, 5 foot 11. If you white, it's an automatic no. If you Hispanic, it's an a maybe. <laughs> it's an a maybe? If you black, it's an automatic yes. Honestly, this is just disgusting. Another example of white privilege. I took my 11-year-old daughter to get a drink at Starbucks. We watched an incredibly handsome construction worker walk across the parking lot and into the store. Do you know what that little girl said to me? I don't know what he fixes, but mine is broken. <laughs> it's funny and cute and endearing because this man clearly would want any woman's attraction for him, especially a young underage girl. Yeah, that, mmm, that's just, that's cute and funny. What if it was your 11-year-old son who said that about a young woman who walked into the store? I thought we were teaching boys not to objectify girls, or does that only apply to boys? No, you don't understand, silly. Men aren't capable of psychologically feeling embarrassed or self conscious. We all know that. If dinosaurs actually existed, wouldn't their bones be everywhere? I'll tell you one thing. Dinosaurs are certainly more real than her brows and lashes. Bacteria is a living thing and a virus isn't. You cannot catch a virus. The only way to catch one is if it's injected into your body. Spoiler alert. Your teacher always handed your tests back to you face down, huh? It's amazing that despite the world we live in with such advancements in knowledge and understanding we still have these sort of takes. That's because phycologist is not a real word. As a phycologist, a botanist who studies algae, I can confirm I'm not real. Punishing women with the death penalty would cut abortions, Idaho lieutenant governor candidate says. Oh, of course. So abortion is murder, but killing women who get abortions is not. They took this away from us and gave us dating apps instead. I will bring back galas. I am a lawyer. Uh, these still exist. You're just not invited to them. Like how you wouldn't have been invited back then. How do atheists decide between good choices and bad choices? If you need the threat of eternal punishment to be a good person, you are not a good person. 
Ugh, gay men make me puke. Well, don't deep throat so far then. <laughs> God, that's such a good one. Anyone eaten camel before? Only the toe. <laughs> Why are men only nice to you for three weeks, lol? Because that's the end of the free trial. Also, when it's becoming too obvious, you just here for the free food and the warmth during the winter. Men on Twitter, I'll tell you a little secret. Women don't care about your six packs or biceps. The most attractive quality of a man is genuine efforts and loyalty. Uh, indeed true. But we are not making six packs and biceps for women, we are doing it for us. Also, abs and biceps, they, they require genuine effort to achieve. So I don't know, <laughs> what do you mean? Okay, it's not attractive, but also it is an attractive quality? Come on. If you you want information. Feign ignorance. Book of Rat. What? Appear dumb and people tend to share more info with you. Let their guard down. It's very useful. Give it a try. <laughs> what? What's so f- <laughs> My god. No! I just did! No! If you play video games more than two to three hours a week, you're wasting your life. Oh yeah, it helps you relax? Congratulations, you're on the same spiritual level as a functional alcoholic. You've been on Twitter since October 2020 and have 20,700 tweets, which means you're averaging 40 tweets per day. I'll be honest, I think there is a bit of truth to what he's saying here though. Like really reflect on your gaming habits, your me time when you game. Like are you actually enjoying yourself or are you just stressed out trying to achieve something in the video game like all the competitive games you play? Are you actually having fun or are you in a bit of a sunk cost fallacy environment because you've put so much time into like leveling up your character, etc., that you kind of feel like you're you're gonna fall behind if you don't keep playing every day. I'm not saying video games are bad, I'm just saying some of us need to reflect on whether or not we're having a fun time and relaxing versus I have to rank up to the top by the end of the week, otherwise I'm gonna fall behind when the latest pack comes out. Me. The B in LGBT means there are only two genders. The LGBT community. <laughs> Okay, let's play that logic. Bilingual means there are only two languages. Oh, hey, look at that. It's your own logic. How does it feel? It's a bit weird, huh? Yeah, when you realize you actually have a stupid take. What if, like, and hear me out, nobody invades anybody for like two years and we take all the world's military and science budgets and put them into bringing back the dinosaurs? Yeah? Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Okay. Then we use them for war. No, no. Yeah. Wait. 